In 1986, Sega released the arcade classic OutRun, a driving game where the goal was to race against the clock to reach the final stage, with multiple paths to choose based on difficulty, which meant five different outcomes. The gameplay may have been simple, but it was the game's presentation that made OutRun stand out with fantastic visuals for the time and an iconic soundtrack, making OutRun one of Sega's and developer Yu Suzuki's most well-known games. Of course, ports for numerous systems would be available as time went on, as well as a few sequels and console-only games, with 1992's Outrunners being the last game, before going quiet. There was the spin-off F355 Challenge in 1999, but it wouldn't be until 2003 when a true sequel would be released with Outrun 2. Gameplay-wise, Outrun 2 stayed true to the original with a few new adjustments and additions like drifting. One year later, OutRun 2 was brought to the big green with some more additions and modes on top of what's on the arcade version. But is it a worthy conversion of the arcade original? Well, thanks to a request from our good friend and patron Stefan, let's take a look and find out. Keeping to the tradition the series has been known for, OutRun 2 has the same goal get to the end under the time allotted, choosing different paths to higher or lower your difficulty, with a very nice selection of Ferrari brand cars. New to this sequel is drifting, letting you cut turns while keeping your speed going. Yeah, it's been around in racing games before this, but it's great for OutRun, especially with the controls being incredibly smooth. When you start up, you'll have three modes to choose from. Well, two if you can't connect to live via Xlink. Outrun Arcade is as the name implies, the arcade version brought to the big green. Here you can play standard arcade outrun mode, heart attack mode where you must perform requests from your passenger to earn hearts to fill her heart meter, which can range from keeping a continuous drift to not crashing or passing cars. And lastly, time attack mode, which is the standard earn a -best time against the clock mode, but you can also race a ghost car as well. Outrun Challenge is more of a campaign mode, for lack of a better term. In Outrun Mission, you must complete the objectives listed in order to continue, as well as earn cards that go towards unlocking new cars, colors, tracks, and music when you complete a set. These missions range from simple tasks like drift challenges and racing rivals to more interesting things like solving math problems and memorizing patterns. You know, I gotta give them props for creativity. I haven't seen a math video game so crazy since Donkey Kong Jr. Math. Remember that one? Party missions allow up to four players to challenge each other in said missions, but in an interesting twist, it's done hot potato style, meaning you pass the controller around when it's the next player's turn. Granted, they probably went with this method since split screen outrun would be a bit too much. You can, however, set up System Link as well. As for live, you could race against other players, upload your best times, and download ghost cars to race against. Lastly, if you collect all the cards from mission mode, you'll unlock the 1986 classic OutRun to play. Not a bad incentive to keep playing. Visually, OutRun 2's Xbox port looks just as good as the arcade original with bright, vibrant stages that you zoom through. Meanwhile, all the Ferraris look wonderful with that nice shiny sheen on them. The cars you drive by, though, don't look as good, but then again, you're not really meant to look at them too long, right? There's also the driver and his ladies, and they look okay, though you don't really see much of them outside the car. <laughs> it is pretty funny, though, when you fail and she starts beating the hell out of you. For audio, it's definitely one of the sweet spots of the game. The soundtrack is a collection of remixed versions of the classic songs, as well as the 1986 originals as well as a few new songs, with not a bad one in the bunch. In fact, Night Flight ended up being one of my favorites. OutRun 2 is, in my personal opinion, a fine example of an arcade-perfect port. It has all the features of the arcade version, with a few new extras thrown in. 
The gameplay is just as exciting and fun as it's always been, and the bonuses you get here aren't too shabby. I'd say pick it up if you can if you're a fan of OutRun. Except we're not done yet. About two years later, Sumo Digital, you know, the guys that helped port OutRun 2 to the big green, developed OutRun 2006 Coast to Coast. So, what does this new entry bring to the table exactly? Right off the bat, you'll notice that a little more polish went into this entry. After you create your license, you'll have three modes to choose from again. Starting with single player, there's Coast to Coast. Essentially, this is challenge mode from OutRun 2, where you complete missions in order to progress, only this time you earn OutRun miles for being successful. This is the game's currency that you'll spend to get new cars, of which there are a few more this go-round, colors, tracks, extras, and music. There are a few new mission types, such as beating your rival before your passenger's heart points are drained, and reaching the goal using the new Slipstream ability, which allows you to gain speed by driving behind other cars. Outrun, Heart Attack, and Time Attack mode also return, and they're pretty much the same, so there isn't a lot to talk about here. Although the fact that you can now race the entire 15-stage course in one go is definitely one of the best additions. Also, you can now choose between the original OutRun 2 tracks and the updated OutRun 2 SP tracks. Multiplayer is also the same as the previous game, with the options being online or system link. Though sadly, the hot potato mode is gone. Finally, as a nice bonus addition, you can play the arcade port of OutRun 2 SP, which also includes the OutRun 2 tracks, so technically, you're getting two more bonus games. As far as presentation goes, it's about the same, just polished up a little more in the visual section. Player cars, characters, and stages still looks as great as ever, while the other cars are still a little average. Meanwhile, the music is brought over from OutRun 2 with a few new tracks, as well as being able to use your own imported music. Overall, I don't have really much else to say about Coast to Coast because it's not so much a sequel as it is OutRun 2 Extended Director's Cut. Everything that was in OutRun 2 was brought back and improved upon with new additions like the Slipstream and a more streamlined way to unlock items. Otherwise, it's still the same fun arcade experience. While both games are worth being in your collection, I'd say that Coast to Coast is the better option. However, the original OutRun 2 is actually cheaper to get as Coast to Coast can fetch a crazy price these days. On Xbox, that is. The PS2 and PSP versions are actually cheaper and I stand so much by how fun this game is that I'd even say get Coast to Coast on those systems. I actually played it on the PSP and can vouch for that one personally. Or you could go the other way of obtaining this game, which I can't condone, but at the same time I wouldn't blame you. I mean, I love this game, but I can't justify paying over 100 bucks for it. Sadly, the OutRun series didn't really flourish after Coast to Coast. There was OutRun Online Arcade for Xbox Live Arcade and PS3 for European regions only that was an HD reimagining of Coast to Coast with upgraded visuals and of course online play, though some features had to be cut due to size. However, the game was delisted in 2011 due to Sega's contract with Ferrari expiring. For a good review of OutRun Online Arcade, check out my friend Rewind Mike's video on it for more info. It's a shame that we'll probably never get another OutRun again, but at least we have some classic arcade fun to enjoy on the big green. Even if one of them is incredibly overpriced and it shouldn't be, but I'm getting way ahead of myself on that one. With that, this is the Dolly Popka saying, as always, stay green my friends, and I'll see you next time. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this episode and want more of me and the Big Green, then click that subscribe button and the bell to get notified when new content arrives. I want to say a special thank you to my patrons for helping not just the channel grow, but me as a creator. You have my forever thanks. If you're interested in the channel and would like to help it grow further, consider becoming a patron today. For the cost of a soda or an item on the dollar menu, you can help myself and the channel provide the best source of Big Green programming and more. Once again, all the thanks and love.